This is the third video in a comprehensive course on programming Microsoft Office with VBA. This is the second video of Microsoft Word VBA examples. Last time, the Word VBA examples were about the application object. This time, examples are about the document object. Make sure you have a document open if you are following along. I will be working with the Book of Genesis. Every document has a name, a file name, more specifically. Let's see what the file name is. Message box active document dot name. But what if you also need to see what directory the file is in? You need the full name. Message box active document dot full name. How many pages are in the document? You may write code that summarizes important information about a document and puts that summary information in another report message box active document dot built in document properties number of pages you may also need to get the document's title for a summary report message box active document dot built in document properties title and when was the document created maybe if a document was created a very long time ago it needs to be reviewed and updated let's see when the book of genesis was created Hmm, this could be interesting. Message box active document dot built in document properties creation date. Let's get into the content of the document. A document has paragraphs, and so does a Word document. Let's get the first paragraph. Message box active document dot paragraphs one. And a document has words, right? Well, so does a Word document. Let's get the fifth word. Message box active document dot words five. Paragraphs have words, so let's combine the last two examples. Let's get the fifteenth word of the tenth paragraph. Message box active document dot paragraphs ten dot range dot words fifteen. Let's see how many paragraphs are in Genesis. Message box active document dot paragraphs dot count and let's see how many words are in Genesis message box active document dot words dot count documents have sentences and so do word documents let's see what the fourth sentence is message box active document dot sentences four now again let's combine the examples of paragraphs and sentences Let's get the first sentence of the tenth paragraph. Message box active document dot paragraphs ten dot range dot sentences one. You may know the relative location of a paragraph. Perhaps you can locate a paragraph by one means, and then you know the paragraph you need to process is the next one. So let's get the eleventh paragraph from the tenth paragraph. Message box active document dot paragraphs ten dot next one and in like fashion let's get the third word from the first word message box active document dot words one dot next word units dot word word two and let's get the seventh sentence via an offset from the first sentence message box active document dot sentences one dot next word units dot word sentence six last time the examples were about the Microsoft Word application these examples started our investigation into reading word documents next time will be examples of writing into a word document if you have questions just keep watching the videos the point is to show examples first, and then with those examples in mind, I will go over the concepts in later videos. Try to watch these videos with your friends, because it will be much easier to learn by collaborating. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.